Hi guys and welcome to today's video. This will be a bit different because what we're doing is we're looking at obviously their weight gain and weight loss. We're going to look at eggs and we're also going to look at putting my pets on things. So <laughs> we'll start off with that. Basically there's a website called bringapet.com who put uh, that your pet's image on a whole range of different things and they were very kind to sponsor today's video and send me a few things. So let's go check them out. So the first thing we've got is this, would you call it a sweater? We would call something like this maybe a jump over here. However, the material feels quite thin, so I can't remember if it is just a long sleeve top. That's how it feels to me. But we have uh, my cat on here. Basically, we got her this <laughs> rabbit outfit and she was in it about a second and she did not look happy. So I kind of wanted to put that on here and actually like you could tell that's her if you look at the photo and then the, on this you can totally tell it's her so now i'm going to quickly go and try it on so this is the t-shirt i did look it up it is a long sleeve tee hence why it is kind of thin i was worried that if it was a sweater or what i'd call a jumper it's quite thin for that but no this is just a tee and this is the cat on it Next we have this fleece. Now I'm going to have to stand up and show you this entire fleece because I can't really show you it here. But basically if you see my picture with all my geckos together, I kind of wanted them on something, like that image on something. And they managed to put it on this massive fleece. And they've done it so well you can totally tell like each gecko which one's which. As for the fleece itself, it's so nice and soft. Like so soft. And finally my absolute favorite thing I received is this pillow. Now this picture in particular is of Dougal just after he had his hair cut so whenever he has it trimmed sometimes I'll style it afterwards I put a little bow in it. He doesn't go back to his hutch in it or anything it's literally just to sort of style it afterwards and I really did think this picture would be very tricky to put onto something but they've done it they've done it so well and you can totally tell it's Dougal. It's so cute and I chose pink for the background for this one. I'm so happy I think it works really well. So yeah, this is definitely my favourite. Look at him, so cute. So thank you very much to Bring A Pet for sponsoring this video. I don't really get that many sponsorships to be honest, so I really do appreciate this. I also have a code for you guys, it's B-R-N-M-A-X-15 and you get 15% off of your purchases. So I'll leave the link in the code below, but once again thank you so much to them for sponsoring this. So anyway, let's go on to weigh the geckos. We have Lyra here, can you see? She's like half fired up, half normal. Like fired down on the other side. Also, by the way, it's like early evening time here. Has anyone noticed the geckos get totally confused when it comes to like six, seven o'clock and it's still light and they're like, am I meant to be awake? Don't go to the loo, Lyra. <laughs> I can just feel. So anyway, so Lyra has been trying out the Arcadia heat projector and I will do a review on that at some point but I did see on their Facebook page that it's now available in North America or at least it's going to some online stores in North America so if you were wondering where you can get that from I think it's more available now. Um, as for Lyra herself she was doing really well like she's been quite chunky lately and then very recently she she kept sleeping in a coconut and she wasn't eating as much it's only is that this is only over like a day or two and then she looked kind of slim and I did wonder maybe she's laid eggs problem is her tank is massive the dirt is very deep and the eggs are very small they won't be fertile so they most likely will be broken down by the cleanup crew however there has been some suggestion that crested geckos can actually asexually reproduce so you never know some babies may emerge from the ground but it, that's very unlikely. Anyway, this video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I think she's probably lost weight. Last month she was 50 grams. 48. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I definitely thought she'd lost weight. Next we have Diego. Now, Diego, not much has changed. So I want to kind of keep this one short because I know we're going in a lot of time already. But I did also want to say a big thank you to my patrons, especially Laura, Sarah, Nicole, Tobias, Jeff, Jennifer, Tracy, Tana, Ingrid, Kim, Sophie, Van and John and everyone else who supports me over there. I really, really do appreciate it. Now, as I said, Diego is doing quite well. Ever since January though, his weight has gradually been going down. It kind of happens this time of year. But um, as you can see, he's looking very good still. Now last month he was 93 grams. Right, try to settle in the middle. 
Okay, maybe 94, maybe it's 94. <laughs> Next, we have Gizmo. Gizmo's been going through a lot. So, basically, she's rarely been eating. She's been shedding a lot, which is probably due to the fact she's probably losing quite a bit of weight. Um, I have taken pictures of all the girls under their belly so we can see if there's eggs. And with Gizmo, it's quite difficult to see. All these pictures will be, like, very... Uh, the brightness will be down, the contrast will be up. The bellies aren't actually that dark. It's just so we can kind of see some eggs. But it's very difficult on her. Normally this time of year, it's very obvious. So... I don't know if she's actually definitely going to lay any eggs this year, whether she'll just ovulate a little bit and then take them back in. I still think she's lost quite a lot of weight. She was 53 grams last month. So let's, uh, let's have a look. It now says 53. Gizmo, what are you? Let's get in the centre again. Okay, I'm going to say 53. Yeah? Okay. Next we have Minnie. Um... I have seen eggs in Mini, they're more obvious than Gizmo. I've also noticed she's been doing a lot more digging, so almost every night I find her water dish full of dirt, because she has dug everywhere. Um, so whether or not she'll lay eggs, I'm not sure. I think she's about to shed soon, uh, but not too much to update about her. I would also quickly like to do my thing that I do every way in video, a shout out to the top, is it top? 30 contributors in the last 30 days on you now. I think I did one live stream um, recently this month in reaction to a video that came out about Pet Tube. Ugh. <laughs> I just hate that name, I'm sorry. I've been on here for like five and a bit years and I never knew we were called that. But I did a live stream on that um, and so thank you to everyone who supports me over on you now. So now to weigh Minnie. She was 56 grams last month. I don't know, she looks a little bit skinny. I don't know if she's lost a bit of weight. Let's have a look. 52, so she is at the moment my lightest female. Last month he was 45 grams. And this month, you're 45 again. <laughs> Do you know what he has? Oh, it's out of focus. He has grown so much, like in length especially, but he is still 45 grams. Last night I filmed a video of him and Lyra. They were on the, they're on opposite sides of the glass, but it looked like they were hugging. It was so cute, and you can really see how much he has grown because he's like longer than her now. But yes, 45 grams. And finally, we have Ziggy. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I'm sorry, this has been quite a long video. I've had a lot to update you on. Ziggy here is chunky her tail's getting skinnier but her abdomen is getting chunkier and she is growing some eggs so they are far easier to see than the other geckos although in her other photo you'll see it's kind of confusing it looks like there's some eggs there but then it looks like it could be something else but i definitely felt one the other day when she's laying on my hand so she's probably gonna have eggs again and i actually found a photo from last may where she, you can really see how big those eggs got and obviously there's a video of her laying them i really didn't want that to happen again this year but it seems it will happen now she's one of the females who have not eaten at all but tends to keep on a lot of weight she feels a lot lighter now but i'm pretty sure she is going to be the heaviest out of all my females even though she's not eating so last month she was 74 grams and now, she is 71. So yeah, she has lost three grams, but she's far bigger than Gizmo and Minnie. That's crazy. I just know once she lays those eggs, she's gonna look so skinny. Come here. So anyway, we are finally at the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I wanna say thank you once again to bringapet.com. Really appreciate this. Um, you know, I don't get many sponsorships. You get the odd ones from very sketchy companies who are like, we'll send you something, do a good review on it. If you don't like it, don't make a video on it. And I'm like, no. Um, I'd rather be honest with you guys and I'd rather show you things that I would actually use and really like. And I really love the products I got. So, thank you very much for watching. Zig has now walked off. I don't even know if you can see her. But thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye. I should just clip, like, pegs at the back of this so it looks... <laughs> it's thin. Boom. Oh my god, someone just walked past. <laughs>